All right, and we're back. Back with the butter. So, what are we going to do this episode? I just took a break, did some outside stuff. So, well, first things first, we got to churn. We have to churn, Jesse. Now, we're very close to actually finishing the uh, whole entire process here. So this should probably be a pretty, almost to a conclusion ending um, to the series, actually. Um, I do want to finish it through. I might be able to do that in this session. Probably, I don't know. Hopefully I can. I mean, it's also not like The Sims 2 where there's a lot more gameplay to go after these sorts of things. You really are just kind of stuck, you know. You don't have a whole lot to do after a while. But, the magic is, we can totally do anything in this game at this point if uh, you don't believe me half the time. So it's like, oh, can you really do it? Yes, yes you can. And uh, it is always a good time. So what else do we need? We need to get a few more things done. We need to upgrade this area because mm, it's starting to get kind of... <clears throat> you know, I could do better. This this whole thing, this entire area, this could be infinitely better. So I want to kind of do a few things different. But we also want to get the bedroom finally finished because, well, as it stands, they don't have a bedroom. They just have a bed <laughs> um, in a room. But that is definitely not a bedroom. That is just a room with a bed. So there's that, and then there's the lounge to go, and then we have to optimize the butter lab here, which I think can work. I think we can do this, and still keep our bill under... No, you're fine. Carl never wants to do anything. And we should be able to keep our um, bills under one grand, I think, if I do this correctly. I mean, it's not like it's going to matter too much. I mean, there's no concern really for money at this point, so I'm not super, super worried, but I would like to do that where I can actually, you know, leave the game in a lucid state and come back to it some other day and go, oh yeah, that's what I was doing, and it would totally make sense. So, I mean, I could probably figure it out, but I like the journey getting to this point. It was quite... It was an accomplishment, man. We went through a lot of stuff to get this far. Um, so we're at 3k, she needs to socialize, he needs to eat, all that stuff. Man. I'm just so... I'm just excited. I, I, I really am, because this is how I would have played The Sims ages ago, right? Like, I would have just totally figured some stupid shit like this out on accident and been like, I guess that's how you play the game, right? <laughs> so, I believe it. I think this is the 100% like totally me strategy that I would totally have employed back in the day. Let's go ahead and get their social up. I think one more, oh my god, what is it this time? Um, oh my god, why is the, the angry trumpet being an angry trumpet? All right then, I guess they hated each other there for a very brief moment for some odd reason. Not really sure what's going on over here, but um, all right then. No, we don't need to go downtown. No one's going to go downtown. Or downtown, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so, it doesn't matter. We basically... You know, we have essentially done the impossible. That's all I can say. And we got $1,000! Why not? Quick save the game after that, because goddamn, this game is a nightmare. So, there's something just special about this playthrough. I can't really quite put my finger on it. I think it's because it didn't turn into a fucking horrifying, just amalgamation of torture and misery and depression and just bleakness that the other series turned into. This one's a little bit more engaging and you get to see my creative side kind of flourish because it's still, it's still definitely a challenge because <clears throat> we have taken so much time to get to this point in the game and that in its own right was just really fucking hard because you remember the struggles the days where we were you know fighting off rabbits tooth and nail killing gophers that we couldn't kill because they burrowed their way through fucking solid concrete 
Those were the good days. They really were. And look at us now. We are in the butter business. Oh, I'm sorry. The empire business. Um, and I definitely can say... Have you ever done this before? That's a genuine question, because I can't think of any other person who's ever played The Sims quite as psychotically as I do. I mean, yeah, everyone goes, oh, I kill my Sims. You know, I don't think that's the same as what I do. Um, I put my Sims through absolute hell to create a self-sustaining life and do dumb bullshit a speedrunner would do in a game. Because I like it. It's a very odd way of playing. But hey, you know, that's the magic of the sandbox is you don't have to play by a specific rule set. You can do anything you want. This game is your little canvas. You can you can paint it into a weird, creepy sex dungeon if you really want to. No one's going to stop you. Might judge you, but they're not going to stop you from doing it. That's the magic thing you always have to remember. Just because you don't think it's good, don't tell other people, because they might think you're an absolute lunatic. But shit, dude. I like to imagine that we have came very far in this series, in terms of actual progression. Uh, because this... This was not an easy task. And every time I keep looking at this, this glorious, just... This amalgamation of weird... I kind of have to tell myself, you know, I did this, and it's quite impressive that I actually managed to do this. I like to toot my own horn a little bit here, because this... This took thought, <laughs> like, this took actual effort and creativity, and it wasn't just me, you know, being like, oh, you know, we're gonna play The Sims and uh, do the same thing we did last time. Oh, hell no. This is very far removed from the last time I played, so this makes me very happy, and I'm very happy with how it's turning out. I mean, we haven't even finished. We're probably, like, maybe one or two episodes away from where I can consider this a done, you know, series. All right, wow, she actually almost got 12 done. That is awesome. Um, did he do all 12? Holy shit, he did 12 butters today. That is amazing. That is just fantastic, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at us, we are rolling in the big ones this morning. Or not morning, but you know. Oh, she didn't do those last two. And I don't think he did that one either. Is he gonna do? Okay. I wasn't sure if I got every single one of them. But you know what I think? I think this is a great, <clears throat> great advertisement for why. <laughs> the Sims 1 is a nightmare, but it's an absolutely wonderful nightmare. And you know what I think? Let's go ahead and reward them for their, their efforts. I think our little butter dolls or whatever way, I don't know what we want to call these. That doesn't sound right. Uh, that kind of blends in with that, so we'll go with that. Uh... Like I said, there's just an extremely limited amount of bookshelves in this game. I, I will have to say, but I have an idea. Uh, I like this very specific rolly chair. You might have seen it in the- there we go. I love that rolly chair so much. How much is this? Two grand! Oh my god. Oh, there's, there's like a tiny bit- I don't like this. This looks awful. But man. If I was a kid back in the day when I, like, actually, this is like back when phones were fucking actually like that, you had, you know, phones don't really make phone calls anymore, I, I don't mean to sound like an old person, but it's, it's a sad reality we live in, I just have to accept it sometimes, but yeah, we don't really make phone calls with phones anymore, uh, I kind of miss those days when you actually remember Oh, those aren't the same. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I'm not going to cry over it. So let's go ahead and make some more scones. Sconces. I think it's scones. That's how you pronounce that word. Do I have the gaudy rug? No, I don't. I got rid of the gaudy rug. <laughs> I like how I don't call it anything else. It's just the gaudy rug. This is all it is to me. And... Mm, we already have that plant. Let's go with this one. Why not? That's actually a not bad looking potted plant, all things. It kind of looks like a little lemon tree. Um, I think... You know, I don't think that needs to be there. I like this better. See, that looks better because it's like it's peeking around the corner like, oh, can't see me booty. Okay, and we're almost done decorating the whole house too. So I'm very shocked that this is... 
Oh, this is like a birthday present, just waking up. Santa Claus came through your whole fucking house with a goddamn, you know, tire iron of gifts. I'm so happy. If I had that happen when I woke up, I would be so ecstatic. But then again, I don't cook butter for a living, so I can't say much. We still do need a, a new shower. That's something that uh, we can't really ignore. Well, you're starving, but you're not wanting to eat. That's not my fault, man. Why do they have such an awful relationship? I mean, seriously, they just keep having these negative social interactions, and it's really quite sad. I don't know what the hell their problems are with each other sometimes. Oh my god, did they just go through this weird... Yep, they did. Oh no, never mind. I still love how the maid just walks in while they're naked. It's just something oddly real, you know? Like, I could see someone doing that, just be like, Oh, well, you know, they're just busy with their their them stuff. I'll just do this and they hopefully will be on their way and not talk about it. I don't know if I if I had that happen, I would have been very concerned. So, let's go ahead and have them start doing some butter. We'll finish up decorating the house and then we'll check our bills. We should be due for bills at this point. Oh shit, I didn't make him watch TV first. Well, I did, but it's the way this game works, so he just kind of said all right, and then he just stopped doing it after like two seconds. So that kind of sucked. But hey, we at least got a good round of butter in, baby. So she does want to socialize. He's not having none of that nonsense. She's got to pee. This is like that scene from fucking King of the Hill where like Dale just keeps listing off a whole bunch of shit. Like he's going to be in the same boat as you are, Gladstone. Oh my God. Now they're just, they don't love each other anymore. Look what I've done. I have caused a conflict, and it's all my fault. I feel like a bad person now. <laughs> Oops. Um, Gladstone, you're going to be in the same boat as him. Or no, that's not the name of the guy. He just says you're going to be in the same boat as him. That's I don't remember the name of the guy. I don't think he actually says the name of the... Oh, oops. <laughs> I don't think he ever says the name of the guy that he's talking to. I'm amazed they're sleeping in the same bed, considering their relationship has just turned to shit in this one day. The room score could be better. I think that's uh, that goes without saying. Uh, let's go ahead and have him. It's funny because they're actually both uh, experts in cooking. So they really technically shouldn't have any issues at all. Like when it comes to like food quality. All right, so she's going to do that. Then you're going to watch TV. They're both needing to watch TV and to calm down. This is a, it's a little bit too much of a hostile... Did he just throw away her... Oh, never mind. I thought he threw away her food. And I was like, e excuse me? Like, I, j <laughs> I just thought he threw it away. It's like, what an asshole. She just took the time to cook that and everything. Oh, God. Now they're getting some social back. Good. Get my social back. My social security back. There we go. Now you love each other today. This is... Wow, I've been in relationships like this. It's just not a fun experience. I can tell you that. Um... And talk about interests. And how about a big old sloppy kiss and good. Take a bath. You take a poo and then a bath. And then we'll just have them go back to bed and we'll butter it up one more time. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to enjoy this homemade kombucha. Oh, it didn't make a satisfying hiss. Mm. Steve MRE would have been really disappointed in me by that one. He just would have said, Oh, this is okay, I guess. God, I love that channel. I, I actually genuinely like Steve. He's such a fucking wonderful YouTuber. And he's so thrilled about what he does. And that is... You know, that's the best thing you could ask for, really. He doesn't bullshit around the thing he's doing. He's like, yeah, I'm just reviewing food. And then that's like 70 years old. What about it? Why is that weird? I love him. He doesn't give a shit. He knows people like the stupid things he says and does, and that's all you could ask for. He's just... He does his own thing. That is what YouTube was made for, man. <clears throat> so, something is fucked. Great. That's not cool. Uh, we need to check the bills. That's right. I forgot to do that. Um, This isn't too bad, Kombucha, either. This is my fourth or fifth batch. I can't remember. What are you doing? Ugh. You jackass. Okay, let's go down here. I don't think that that added too much more to our bills, all things considered. Oh god, I keep saying that damn expression. But it's true, I don't think it really... 
it's not gonna be like, you're gonna have bills that exceed your overall household at any time. I don't think you can do that. That's just not a thing that can happen. Uh, and then drink some espresso, go to the bathroom. It sounds dumb that I make them do that. I could just easily have them go to bed. But it's actually a lot easier um, just to do this. Because then, even if I just have them go to bed, they can at least um, do some sort of action before like, they just pass the fuck out or like die of starvation or something horrible. Uh, you watch your TVs. You watch your funnies. Okay. And then these two. And... Alright, you go upstairs and watch TV. Let's check the bills. I'm gonna guess $630. That's how much I'm gonna say they are. I can't see shit, Captain. 670 That's still pretty high. But it's been... It's been growing. I mean, the home is definitely improving without Tim Allen. So, I think... We're doing a pretty good job. I mean, this is not my best home. But all things, you know, in mind. We are playing in The Sims 1. We don't have a whole hell of a lot of options. So, anything I do is going to be kind of limited, sadly. Uh, let's put the... I think they can still get around that. If they can't, I will throw a bitch fit. Uh, actually, I don't like that there. This looks better over here. <laughs> okay, now let's work on the lounge. Um, I was saying how I wanted to put a bar in. I don't think I want this one. I, I like the style of this better. I, I just do. It just doesn't look as overdone, I guess. I can't explain it, but I just don't like it when things look out of place, even though they have better stat bonuses. I'd rather it look natural, I guess. Um, so we have lighting already. What else are we missing? Uh, there's the magic stuff. I don't really think they need any pets. Pets are a whole different grab bag. And a massage table. Why not, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and put in stereo. I still think this is actually a pretty bitchin' looking stereo. Especially for this time. Um, I need some decor in there. It's, it's a little, it's a little opaque right now. No, I've already took it up that spot. I like this ugly ass plant. I, I just, I do. I really love some of the ugly shit in this game. Unironically, too. That's the worst part. You'd think I'd be like, oh, it's ugly as fuck, and I'm gonna put it in there because it's ugly as fuck. No. I just like weird shit, because I'm a weird person. Uh... I think... No, we don't need any of these fucking hideous statues. We need wind chimes in the inside of the house, because that's what normal people do. Uh... You know, a fish tank next to a stereo is just a recipe for disaster in real life. I like to point that out. We already have a clock downstairs. This is a... This is a cozy area. Let's put this in here. No, I like over the stereo. It looks nice. Um, and we don't need any more lights in this room, this room, this room. I mean, this could do with stuff, but it's kind of pointless. Is this the, the bubble wall? Actually, this would be good in the bedroom, all things considered. <laughs> It's just because I'm tired, man. It's, it's what happens. Uh, do these give you room? No, they don't. They just... They just look nice. Ah, nah. I don't like those. Uh, they look a little... They just... They detract... Oh, Jesus Christ. They detract from the aesthetic of the room. So, let's put those back. Uh... God, there goes sixty-five dollars. We'll never get back. We just lost like a billion dollars in my mind. Um, over time, why not? Let's get a let's get a gold album. We earned that shit. That is such a thing. Like I've grown up with shit like this in my life forever. Um, God, it's like if Estes was a real thing. It would taste like this. Except really hot. <clears throat> so I think we've... 
yeah, I think we've got all the the main rooms. This doesn't need any decorations because it's so bleak. <laughs> How much is a head? Too much. Uh, I don't think there needs to be anything over here. This is just ominous and creepy, and I love it. Same with this room down here. So I think... Well, the entrance hall, of course, needs some work. But I don't know what I want to do for that still. Because I could get rid of it altogether, but I don't think that's the point. So I think the best thing we can do next is work on this and then end it with this. And I think our yard is fine. We have enough random shit on the... It's real, I guess. Um, Save the game. Yeah, I think that'll do. I think this is fine. Did he eat? Where's the foods? Oh, Jesus, the camera's moved and now I'm all fucked up. Uh... Oh, it's right here. Never mind, never mind. Um... So, all things are good again. There we go. So, we need to have them... Take a me day, you know? That's the... The idea here. And then... We can... Work on the, uh, Butter Lab's final probable things, and then we'll do the episodes at Farewell. And we'll see what our final bills are like. We'll just have them go on a massive, uh, workathon. you know? He's gonna pass out. No! Yeah, you see, you fucking woke him up with your hugs, man. Jesus. Um. So, yeah, we can do that. I think one more... I don't think it's gonna require very much extra stuff. We just need to move probably like one more tile over and at that point I think we should be fine. Um, I haven't watched TV. And we'll have her get up as well and we'll start doing the butter. We'll get ready to churn. We'll have them kind of sync up hopefully. But yeah, we've got a very, very nice house. Actually the shower, that's right. I promised I'd give them a nice shower, but I... Did she not eat? What the hell is your problem, man? Um... Oh, he must have been in the way or something, I guess. But, um... Yeah, that... I think that's the next solution, is a better shower? Because there's only so many in the game. That's the problem. Um... I'm trying to think. Let's have her start making some butter. Feed me the butter. Man, I'm amazed I haven't made that joke either. Trust me. Uh, my roommate was like, that was the first thing she said, butter. And I was like, you see, that's exactly why I was missing. I, I had to have a second input on that. So, all right, let's, let's churn that shit. Oh, this is so good. There's hardly any sugar in it, too. It all gets fermented out. So it's just, like, kind of gone. If you've never had kombucha, it's wonderful. It's one of my favorite things. I am so happy I started making it. Um, actually, let's have her go to the bathroom because she's going to freak out if she doesn't. And then we'll have her sell the butts. I love how they still try to interact with them even though they're in the middle of a queued up action and they're still doing it. Uh, okay. No, no nagging. This is a happy place. Uh, no, we can't really put a shower in there. Not yet. I have an idea, though, trust me. It's gonna work. Um, I, I was looking at that, and I'm like, no, that's only a 2x2. Two two. We need one more. We'll have to extend it out just a tiny bit. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to do it. And we'll have to add... Well, I'm gonna move the other uh, shower into here that's upstairs to down here. That way they have a perfect um, shower setup, just in case. Watch TV. Go have... Go have fun. Uh, actually, yeah, let's have him interact. She's getting a little desperate. Um, om nom nom nom. Om nom nom. Nom the faces. Nom them, damn it! Make me entertained. Yeah, they make the grapefruit sound, too. You know that I, I'm sad that that sound doesn't get used in enough shit. It's quite a wonderful noise. I also don't think anybody in their right mind would ever try that in any sexual context. It would be a horrible, horrible experience. Just, oh god. That doesn't even sound pleasant, it just 
sounds like a fucking horrible shit you'd hear on, like, TikTok. If you don't know what it is, look up the grapefruit technique. It's on YouTube. It's safe, trust me. Um, well, not at work, but you get the idea. It's, it's a little interesting. I don't think anybody would ever try it. But, you know, I'm sure someone has, and I'm sure that they got their Victoria's Secrets, too. Um, <laughs> I've got Kylie lipsticks. I love that video. I know it's bullshit, but it's still funny. Uh, I was like, what the hell is in the house? Oh, it's the uh, gardener man. Okay. Now kiss. Okay. And om nom hugs. Yes, yes, yes. We've made it. We're, we're in the butter empire now. <laughs> you know, actually, all things considered, we are in the butter empire. And that is... That's all I could have ever asked for. <laughs> Honest to God, all I could ever ask for. So I think, yeah, I think after this cell, we should be able to put the final touches into the butter lab. And as in final touches, I mean just move the damn thing out one tile. <laughs> but that one tile is going to make the huge difference. And I mean, I don't need to, but I could and I will. That's the main thing. So let's go ahead and sell some butter. And I didn't know you could right click to do that. That's crazy. Can't you like shift and right click or something? I'm afraid that's gonna break the game. I don't want to do that. Uh, drink your espressos. I actually do like espresso in real life. It's not my go-to thing, but I do like it a lot. I, you know, I don't really go to coffee shops ever, but when I do, I get blended sugar-free espresso because I'm the ultra uber white guy that just doesn't like fancy coffee so uh it's just because like it's i can't drink sugar number one so it's it's already kind of a no-go for me i can't really do anything about it but you know if i can i just get something that's very basic like that because it's it sounds complicated but it's actually quite basic uh i was like what is it this time can it just not? Can it just fucking wait? Don't you know? Oh, they're not even talking while they're eating. That's just sad. Um, do we have bills? Oh, we do. So what are they gonna be at? Put that shit down. Oh, we have two bills. Eight hundred and oh shit. That is a lot of dollars. Okay. It's a good thing we're very close to finishing this. Uh. Okay, so let's, well, first of all, let's get rid of this window, and we're going to pull this out one more tile space. That is the pearl white one, I think? No, that's carpet. They look so similar. Uh, no, that's gravel. There we go. And then... I have to remember what this damn wall is, and that's the hard part for me. Uh, this one. There's no wall there, so I still don't have to worry about it. Let's get the paneling, actually, before I forget. And... Boom. And no blank spaces. Everything gets... Everything gets a... A little home. Where's the wallpaper I want? Ugh! That's wallpaper. I love the all item descriptions too. That's something that was lost in later sim games. High impact velocity paint job. Okay. And I mean, we could do that. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. We have done it. And now all that we need is a fridge. We only have $18, but that's all you really need, honestly. Uh... Can I do that? Can I get the uh, fridge in? That's the main thing. I need to get the fridge in there. Because if the fridge isn't in there, then it's not worth a damn thing. All of this was a sham. Uh, so I want to get at least the cheap-ass fridge to put in there, because that's the point, is you should be able to effectively churn butter without any hiccups. Like, you can do everything except social. So... I think that'll work. Uh, drink that espresso. 
I don't really know how to make espresso. I know it's... You have to have, like, a special machine to do it. I mean, you could just be extremely bootleg and just, like... You know, put some coffee, brew it, and just call it done. Someone's probably done that, where they just brew the beginning of their coffee and say, Yeah, hey, look, guys, I made espresso. That's... That's not how it works. But, um... Still. At least the idea's there, right? Um... Of course, we need to get a Frigidator, as my cousin used to call them. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think a microwave, at least. Microwave. Oh, I can't move that because she's using it. Uh, because that will be... I, let's see if it works. I'm going to test it out on her. Uh... That is a sentence that I, came out of my mouth. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I have an idea for the bottom story as well. I've been thinking about it for a while. No, don't do that. Go over here. I should be able to do this. Do I need another counter space though? No! God. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, can't you just do that here? How much is a food processor? So that's too much. Shit. So we need to get a food processor. It is established. It is set in stone. We need a food processor. We need money, but we need a food processor. <laughs> oh, too much expansion all at once. We can never get jiggy with Madonna or Marilyn Manson. What a shame. Um, they need to interact. That's a, that's a sentence. Uh, and then we'll we'll try to have them have some social interaction. We need to get the next uh, batch of butter out because we're gonna run out of money if we don't, which sucks ass. Uh, go there. I love how she just fucking bolts into the room. Oh, so good. Uh, that's how I walk around the house. Uh, anybody who knows me in real life can ask anybody. I do. I will, everywhere I walk, I just make monkey noises and, uh, yeah, it's true. It's a real story. Um, I could put a little stove in there as well, but I just don't trust like that, okay? That's just not me. Uh, oh, that's right. We still have food to take into consideration. Oh, well. I think... Now, if this works, this will be so fucking cool. I'm gonna be so happy if this shit works. Uh... Yes, actually, I, I thought about it. I just did. Um, we can put the, the microwave, or the food processor here, and they won't take it upstairs because they'll prep it on that. So this will technically work, but I have to sell this stuff to do it. Um, otherwise, it won't work at all. Um, bum. He is almost done. Perfect. So this can work, and I'm gonna demonstrate it in a moment. Okay. The maid gets out the way. Uh huh. Son of a bitch. Sell that. And that. Perfect. Okay, so, now that we have some money to play with, uh, let's see if I can do it. Will this work the way I think it will work? And if it doesn't, I'm a dumbass and that's okay. Let's have him watch TV, just to have him in an idle state. Uh, have a quick, have a quick lunch. Let's see what happens. Oh, god damn it, there needs to be a chair. Uh... Otherwise, they won't do it. This is a break room, after all. Um, actually, that blocks the uh, processor. Oh, sorry, the coffee maker. Mm, do I really want to do it? Oh, it needs to go out one more tile. Ugh. Fine. It's totally fine. Oh fuck, what did I just get rid of? Oh hell. Uh, why can't I reach you? Oh whatever, fine. And... 
what was the floor in here? Oh, Jesus, I don't remember what the... Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Wow, that was a fucking lucky stab, honestly. Um... And I think... So we just need to put a chair. <laughs> oh my god. Does it work? Will it work? Will it blend? That is the question. Let's have him try it out. God damn it, it still goes up there. Uh, we'll need to put a table there then. Oh, then he can't get that at all. Not if I do this, though. Uh, so that's a problem. I love how I think that's a problem. I'm like, this is a problem. Uh, shit. Oh, dear. This isn't a good situation at all. Uh, I don't know what's going on with her, but she's gonna black the fuck out. Okay. That's, that's good. Sit. I want to see how this can work. If it can work at all. Then we can shower. Uh, and then she... Will this work? No. Oh god, he's trapped her. <laughs> Inadvertently trapped his wife. Oh dear. Uh, I think one more run. And we can see how this will work. And then... We can do the last episode in the series for now. Which I still have to do something about the bottom story, but I'll think of that in a minute. So let's... let's do that. Let's go ahead and have you serve the breakfast. And then you can use the toilet. And then you can use the bath. The bath. And... Hopefully you'll have some food by then. So let's see if this will work. I think that we should be able to hit under a thousand for all of our bills. Let's see how fast the shower does it do. I'm always excited to see how things go when they're going efficiently. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it, it was... It just filled the role, you know? So... Okay. They're both in a pretty decent mood. His fun deteriorates slower, so we're pretty lucky. Okay. Oh, shit. He didn't sell all the butter. Um... I am so fucking amazed that... So the problem here is they just want to sit at that table upstairs, because that's what they're defaulted to go to as an AI. So, that sucks. Uh... Let's... And we'll test out that. Let's have, have him sell butter. And... I love how the maid just walks by all the time. The maid of this game is just the eternal... poor person who just experiences life in its worst forms. So I gotta have... Okay, so only one person can be in this room at a time. That's one thing I do think is a problem, but... That's not really the big deal here. We're trying to see in terms of efficiency right now. So that's different. It works! Oh my fuck, it works! In theory, it works. They'll take dishes upstairs. That's not a huge loss. I can fix that really quick. Oh my god, it works. It totally, totally works. See? Everything is fulfilled. The Butter Empire is officially complete. We have done it. We have min-maxed the Butter Empire. You know, I think this is the last video. I, I don't think I can do much more other than the, the house, but you know, I think I'll do one more. I'll do the bottom layer and a butter run and we'll see what the bills are like. I'll see you in the last one in the next one.